India. 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 want the system to deliver for the poorest and most vulnerable, then their voices must be heard. We need to make the system more representative and more responsive to those who need it most. So we will make the case, not just for fairer outcomes, but fairer representation in how we reach them. And this also applies to the Security Council. It has to change to become a more representative body, willing to act, not paralyzed by politics. We want to see permanent African representation on the Council, Brazil, India, Japan and Germany as permanent members, and more seats for elected members as well. Finally, to support this, we will also change how the UK does things, moving from the paternalism of the past towards partnership for the future. I hear a lot of people say that what, the United, what we need to do to the UN is just throw it in the bin. It doesn't, there's no point in it. We can't resolve conflicts. Why do we have it? So here, let's ha show a constructive kind of impatience. And we can't just be satisfied with not being able to resolve things. But we know the, who's responsible. While we have a Security Council that has been blocked, that is blocked reciprocally according to each another's interests, while that's still the case, we won't be able to make progress. Is there a better system? I don't think so. So, let's make the UN more efficient. Firstly, perhaps making them more representative. And that's why France, as I reiterate here, is in favour of the Security Council being expanded. Germany, Japan, India, Brazil should be permanent members much like two uh, countries that Africa will decide to represent them. These new elected members will also, also need to be accepted. But the reform of the composition of the Security Council is not sufficient alone to make it more effective. And so I wish this reform also to... how it should also change the working methods to limit the right of veto in case of mass crimes and also to focus on operational, effective decisions that peacekeeping needs. And maintaining international peace and security needs, rather. This is why we need to be brave and audacious and to do so. And with the current permanent members, this is something we should be doing. We led the fourth international conference on financing for development to ensure that no country has to choose between fighting poverty or saving the planet. On another front, we are in favor of reforming the United Nations Security Council to make it more representative agile and functional. Its composition is outdated and the absence of representatives from some regions hampers its functioning. Portugal supports the African common position and the aspirations of Brazil and India to become permanent members. Small and medium-sized countries, including small island states, should also have their representation strengthened. 2024's world is not the same as 1945's. This morning I listened to the UN Secretary General, I listened to President Lula from Brazil and President Biden from the United States. They all explicitly expressed their agreement to reforming the Security Council to adjust it to today. What or who is holding this up? Is anybody in this assembly opposed to this? Chile proposes that we set a deadline for this reform. 
and when the UN celebrates its 80th birthday, we'll do so with a Security Council that includes, that is in line with current times, that includes Brazil from Latin America, India, and at least one country from Africa, among others. India. 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 India.